Hello guys and welcome back to a new learning session. This time, I am going to talk about interior glass in architecture visualizations, the methods of making such materials, and what are the pros and cons in each one of them, and in the end, I will share my thought on what is best to use, and where to use it. So make sure to stick with us and enjoy. Before I talk about the main thing here which is the glass material, let me just make a mesh, that look like a room, using the default cube as a base, I changed its dimensions to 4 by 6 meters, and give it a height of 2.7, after that, we need the camera to be inside, moving it from the front view would keep the vertical lines correct, and rotating it so we can see the effects on the glass material that we are going to make. The focal length is 28 which is used in real cameras, so, let us cut the wall in front, using loop cuts to make a place for my windows or glass board. After extruding this face, I am going to delete it, I then added a new cube, to be my glass and scale it around to fit the area, this will give me the thin glass board which is mostly used in these cases. Last thing we need is the world light or the HDRI, let us hide the glass for now to see it, in the shading editor, add an environment texture and select the HDRI map through the open button. Switch now to render view to see what we have. So. If we go outside, we can see that there is a sun in the sky map that we added, and I need it to be in front, using the mapping node, rotate the sky on the Z would fix that. In the render setting switch now to cycles, so, to the glass talk now. Here I am adding a reflective object just to help us understand more, a cone would work, and in the material settings, change it to glossy BSDF node. Give it now a great color and make the roughness value 0. Now, unhide the glass board from the eye icon, So, the first way to have a transparent object would be using the BSDF node, and that's what I used when I start with Blender, you just add a new material which have already the BSDF, you first make sure the color is white, and the roughness is zero in value, then, you change the transmission to one, and you think it works, now I have glass, but the thing is, what you have here is a problem.
this is what you have in 32 samples compared to the same count if you hide the glass, so what you notice, the amount of noise is doubled, maybe tripled using the BSDF as glass, and most important, we lost the HDRI sunlight and shadows. The reflections on the cone object is also mostly gone. So, what else can we do to make a glass material? Well, that takes us to the second method to a glass node setup. You start with a glass node, mix it with a transparent BSDF using a mix. And it looks great, still if we hide the glass board you notice the shadows are a bit faded or not that as sharp as when we hide the glass, so. We fix that usually using the shadow ray from the light path node by connecting it to the factor input in the mix node, what you have here is the most common node used in making interior glass among blender users, and which I use most of the time, the I, O, R value will give also some control over the reflections on the glass, and that's what I need most of the time, I need a glass looking board with all the effects that come with it, and I need my sun and sky to have full effect over the floor. The third method that we have is like this, we leave the transparent node in the last material setup, and replace the glass with glossy, the roughness should be low in value for clear glass. And instead of the light path we use a layer weight node, we take the facing and connect it to the factor input in the mix, if the board turned out black, just switch the main two nodes in the mix as shown. Now using an RGB curves node, you can control the reflections shapes and its amount on the glass, especially near the corners so you can add one point to control it, two points or more, for sure you need experimenting with it, but still gives you a good looking glass, one thing to say about this method that, it gives you control over the glass but it might not be that realistic, what I mean is, it makes a good looking glass but not true to the glass physical properties in the real world, still, you might need it in remaking a scene image or something like that, adding some effects to your shot that is good looking but not that real. In the end, what I conclude and what I need to tell you is this, I highly recommend using the second method with the glass node in it, it's most effective, most real, and fastest in render to my knowledge and testing, also, try not to use the principal BSDF node in setting a glass material, you just going to end up in noise trap not even the goddess of denoising would get you out of it, and the last thing I need to say is, if you have a shot that not directed to the windows, or if your window have some curtains over it, don't use a glass material, leave the glass mesh hidden, it won't matter, you just adding an hour to your render time, and not getting anything plus from it, so, that's what I have to say, stay sharp guys, goodbye.